hello everyone and welcome back to another video um if you guys aren't aware this is my baby alexa hello. and um i know you guys are gonna ask right off the bat what about her hair why she locked it what are y'all doing to keep it up queen are you keeping it up we're gonna do a whole separate video talking about her locks and her lock journey and she'll actually be the one going more in depth about it um, as to why she wanted to do her lock journey yep. and i love it i love Bay's locks y'all it's just it's so liberating <laughs> it just reminds me when i big chop <laughs> all right but so that is not what we're talking about today this is not a natural hair video this is not a wellness video this is something that i have been wanting to talk about for a while and because it was something that happened to me about a year or so ago and it's just a lot of things that's just reoccurring here in the united states and you guys know it's just hard being black in America right about now. I mean, it's it's in a sense people burning Nikes. Yeah. Folks mad at Colin Kaepernick. Yes. Nigga can't even walk in the damn stove without being racially profiled. I know. People walking up to you thinking because you're black that you work at a convenience store or that you're one of just an employee or and it's not just happening to black men, it's happening to black women too. As well, so yeah. It's happening to minorities. It happened to Mexican Asians and all that. If you're these not white, white. <laughs> these white folks just want to take over. Yeah, and right. and and I'm sorry, but I wasn't trying to cut you off. Um, but you know, and like I tell people, it's not all white people. I don't feel it to be all white people, but for the most part, it is a lot of white people. Not all white people are bad, and not all black people, people are, are good. good. Yeah, so, and vice versa. Uh, I mean, I feel like if we come to together, all this confusion just stop. Yeah. So. It's just been so much just been taught throughout the systems, especially when it comes to schools, institutions, just even just outreach programs. I mean, just pretty much any program that may have been implemented by someone who is not a minority is some form of system within that system to try to program people to live a certain way or to feel like they can't achieve a certain level of success. And people, you know, um, you know measure success differently that's why i said different levels of success because some people might consider success as having this high paying job or you know you get a certain pension every year or it might be that you, your level of success may be that you like to garden you're a professional gardener or whatever the case may be but here in america in 2018 it is hard to be black like i wouldn't <laughs> say it's hard they, they they don't make it easy i mean but um no, it's been a lot of good too. Yeah, I've been with a lot of black folks standing up, standing up for what's right, talking, speaking, letting it all out. You know. So, yeah. But it's just still like it's uh this stuff needs to be recognized. Like you have to shape your future, and kids, you know, nowadays, you know, they need to be shaped, yeah. and molded to know what's really going on. You know. I don't feel like you should pacify your kids. As for me, I work with children. So, uh, you know, they need to know what's going on. You yeah. know, and to know the truth. Yeah. Know the meaning of what black being black is being in America. You know, yeah. until, you know, we all stand up, you know, and come together. You yeah. know, we can't change, like they say. Can't change the world unless you change ourselves. So yeah, and that's so true. And I, and I'm in full agreement with Babe on everything that she just said because y'all, believe it or not, we have a lot of conversations, you know. And I know from my standpoint, with me having, you know, um, the platform that I have, you know, especially with it primarily being here on YouTube, a lot of us feel like we have to censor a lot of our opinions and our truths and our experiences that we go through. And again, whether you're black or white, it doesn't matter. But a lot of us are having, to a sense, feel like we're having to be silenced because, you know, you might be under contract. You might have some kind of collab going or coming up soon or you, you, it's your paycheck. But at, it gets to a certain extent to whether, you know, are you going to just keep doing this just so you can make sure that you have this dollar, but yet you're sacrificing your own beliefs and morals, you know, when you, and then you're having to stand on the sidelines and watch your own people go through these things. And because you choose to not use your voice, especially if you have a large following, like, for example, I don't have a super large following here on YouTube. I probably have about 
100 followers now but I just feel a lot of the small youtubers and just like myself you know and even those who have the 250k or whatever the case may be a lot of them now are starting to not you know be in silence a lot of us are wanting to use our platforms to be informative to be you know educational to others you know and to help them to understand that it is okay to be black it is okay it is nothing to be ashamed of and it's just in a sense kind of like history is repeating itself because my mother went through it she went through it when they were segregated she went through it when they were integrated and i'm telling you just from hearing my mom her stories her sister's stories my grandparents stories like my aunts and uncles stories so it, in a sense it kind of makes me passionate about being black because i understand and to see it today still happening in 2018 and a lot of us want to be mad and irate and just act out of rage when really and truly that's not going to solve anything and okay even made that very clear like hate and and just trying to abuse each other is not going to solve anything just like alexa said us coming together being understanding and fighting positively and doing it the right way is what will really carry the message along because a lot of times yes a lot of us react out of our emotions and they get the best of us and a lot of times it gets the best of black people because we're so passionate <laughs> about a lot of things and that is okay but i think we also too need to understand how to properly channel that because when we do go forward and try to stand you know what i'm saying protest to fight sometimes it does get emotional people get upset because their loved ones have been murdered or they've been arrested unjustly or whatever the case may be and i just think it's just a lack of knowledge and understanding that it's always a right way to protest and to get your message across but again too it's kind of hard because we're witnessing so many of us be killed so many of us being arrested so many of us not getting the promotions the jobs the whatever it is that we're wanting we know that we're qualified and have the proper education or the work experience and we don't get it because simply because we're black and that's not fair you just gotta start realizing too like <clears throat> racism is here and i don't feel like you know it's going to go anywhere but you know it, it, people start realizing that race uh people people of the different color skins and all that uh, just y'all we, we y'all not better than nobody like else like you know like you just have to you know you know just come together man like i don't feel like white people are better than black people and black people are better no. than white folks yes, like, i don't believe in that you know man. asians you know i just feel like we all could create it equally just different colors like yeah. to me it's just like white folks are just mad at black people though <laughs> for what like <laughs> yeah and it's, it's just so like why, why are you mad like you fucking mad for no reason i'm sorry for my profanity no it's okay profanity is allowed on my channel oh but like it's just <laughs> like you know like shit like <laughs> Why are you so mad? We ain't did nothing to y'all. Y'all came over and got us. It's just like, <laughs> damn. Like, we don't be looking for no fights. We don't be looking for nothing. We minding our own damn business. And they're just so mad. Just like this. I go back to this Nike and this Colin Kaepernick thing. Boy, they, Nike don't care about y'all burning y'all stuff. Exactly. You pay for them motherfuckers. Exactly. Shit, like, <laughs> that's like easy, easy shit. They, they pay for them motherfuckers. Shit. <laughs> I know we're talking about EZ, we're talking about straight out of the time crazy, in the movie. Though, but it's crazy though, too, because they might bring up the prices on Nike shoes still, yep. you know, with these folks, you know, burning them up and stuff, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know. So, you know, they might they might be losing a big, you know, like a good portion of, <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep saying white people, but white folk, you know, because it's cold capital thing. Black. Like, you know, shit, we gonna stand up, you know, whatever. Shit, we just have to pay the extra money for the forces or the yeah. Air Maxes and all that kind of stuff like that. You know, support, 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 yeah. support each other, you know, come as one, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, even if, they, like he said, even if you have to sacrifice everything, yeah, you know, do what's right, you know? So, it's just, everything, you know, just, just get back to each other. Yeah. And I just feel like the world would just be a better place, it'd be more peaceful, like, yeah. You know, I ain't looking for no fight, and I ain't looking for no debate, and all that kind of stuff like mm -hmm. that. Because you know, when the time do come, yeah, I'll fight, you know, and I will debate and all that. But I ain't just walking up to folks and just looking up, just, <laughs> oh, just let's, let's, let's yeah. just go ahead and just get this all off the, you know, you're looking at me. Right? 
<laughs> Somebody look at you wrong. So, yep. so long as they don't put your hand, long as they don't put their hand on you or nothing like that, man. Forget them. Yeah. Go the other way. Shit. We had black folks looking at us at Joe Patty's, oh, <laughs> the God. seafood place at the a seafood market. A seafood, seafood market. Where I used to work at. Yeah. Looking at us crazy because we 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 what we was doing that day. We, we was washing clothes. We, we just washing down there and get some fish yep. and then come back home. She we looking at us crazy. Yep. I guess we up, didn't look like anything. Up and down. I'm up and down. Yeah. <laughs> she looking at us crazy. Up and down. She got the same bands I have on. She got this big ass and pink ass. Got suit. a bigger van collection of what big they Big ass pink ass suit on some pink ass bands and you looking at me like that, bitch. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. And you I, you would kiss the fattest part of my ass. You just keep on walking. And Jeez. I find too, you know, that black people we discriminate yeah, against each other for no each other reason, all crazy and shit like for that. no reason when really and truly the state, the country that we live in discriminates against us. It don't even matter what status that you are. Ass black people, be some sedate ass black people too. Really, and like they all the way fucking up here, and the rest of us down here. No bitch, we we getting the same racial profile the same way. So exactly, shut your ass up. Yeah, let me stop all this because be quiet. <laughs> And keep it moving. But you know what I'm saying? Smile and speak. You yeah. know? Say, hey, you laugh with somebody just because you can. Why are we in competition is the first thing. I always, that's the thought that comes to mind. Why are we so in competition with the I with feel like, other? I just feel like white folks, white folks made us do that. You yeah, know? I feel that way like, too. I just feel like, you know, and. And even if we yeah. may not have been aware of it consciously, maybe subconsciously they was putting that in us through, again, you know, through the schools and naturally a lot of black children. And I know for me personally growing up, my mother did the best that she could. Okay, damn it. My mom was a single mother, single parent, moved her children from one side of the country to the other. Okay, so my mom did the best that she could and I don't take nothing away from that. But you'll be surprised at how black children will talk about another black child because they don't have a pair of fucking Jordans or Nikes but yet you're both coming from the same fucking neighborhood. It doesn't make any sense to me because their parent has raised them to think well if you have a certain style if you have this certain label on you, a label that don't give any cares about you because let's just be real MJ don't care about black people buying J's he don't care. He don't care if you dying over them. Let's just be real. He made that very clear so and it's sad and it's not just our generation but the generations before and before are not breaking that 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 thing that's being passed down on us being racist against each other, of us feeling like we're in competition against one another. Like I'm no greater than Alexa. Alexa's no greater than me or whatever. Just because I might have a certain education don't mean that, that her education it, it doesn't matter. We are all equal, but we have all been taught different that kind of skills. Yeah, yeah different yeah. kind of skills. Your skills might be greater than somebody else's. Don't mean that like you're better than anybody. Yeah. It don't make you less than anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like I see a lot of kids, you know, having to competing against each other and stuff like that. I have to stop and be like, what makes you so greater than that, that child right there, you know? Yeah. You know, tell me, give me one reason why <laughs> y'all are different. Yeah, you might look different and all that kind of stuff like that, but you all have, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? You all have the capabilities of becoming the the best person you can be. Amen. Your only your only competition is yourself. Ooh, say so it again. it's like, man, like I don't care about name brand stuff like that. When I do decide to have children, me and her decide to have kids, we well, would not be brought up in yeah. <coughs> like uh, brought brought up in uh Jordan. They gonna be Garanimal babies and Walmart Nikes kids and whatever. all that kind of stuff. Not putting Jordan and Nike <laughs> down or anything like that, you know. Not putting them down or just saying, you know, you know, but sure, they need to know like hell, one day you ain't gonna be able to afford this. Yeah, and a Shit. lot of these parents struggle to even buy yeah. their child a hundred dollar or so pair and of shoes. Can't come in and I'm gonna tell y'all something. Then some of them be buying this stuff and can't even pay their fucking fees and stuff like that. And then get mad at us. Get mad at us because we we giving them what they supposed to do. How the hell are I supposed to get paid? Exactly. And Shit, we all but think you want to you want to come up in here with Jordan. You want to send your kids up in here with these brand new shoes on, but yet you want to complain about paying your fee. Then don't bring them to daycare. Don't bring them. <laughs> Leave them at home. Let them okay. go to school. Let them go to public school where it's free at. Exactly. Let them go there. But you're when you come to an establishment where I'm working at, you're gonna have to pay. So, I mean, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. you know, 
Hey, hey man, but anyway, it's just like Man, teach, teach, teach your kids, yeah, man. Yeah, I think mold the future. Oh, go ahead, man. mold the future, cause, cause, shit, this generation, our generation, man, it's just has been like, mm -hmm. it's been big, like for yeah. real. Like kids are looking up to us. Our parents are looking at us, the ones that we still do have alive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's making a big impact. This is 2018. Mm -hmm. I'm, I just turned 28 yesterday. Amen. You know, and I, and I thank God. I really thank God to make it to 28 for real. Yeah. You just you 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 don't have to roll with the punches, but you need to either speak, be silent, or you know just keep it moving. But. Yeah to show you that it is a lot of African Americans, a lot of black people and it doesn't matter if you are like my complexion, lighter, maybe beige complexion or even darker it does not matter and I think that a lot of us because of the African American community over so many years and centuries from slavery to even when Jim Crow all that mess was going on and even now up until to this day we are still being taught that just because you might be black but if you're light skinned like say for me that people might consider me to be get a little bit more privileged because I'm light skinned and that's not right like no just because I'm light skinned does not that doesn't mean anything like that and that shouldn't be a factor but it is and it's, it's just crazy because again it just goes all back to someone just hating us because of the color of our skin just like basically first of all we didn't ask to come over here second of all our ancestors didn't even ask to go through this stuff you know what I'm saying even now to this day we encounter people who are African-American and even our age, because I'm 27 and Alexa's 28, and there's people our age who discriminate against us. It's a young man. We go to the store almost every single day. If y'all follow me in my stories, you know what store I'm talking about. I ain't gonna put the name out there. This young man is a black young man. He ain't no younger than us, probably. But I kid you not, the way that he dresses, which is nothing wrong with the way that he dresses, but it exudes through the way that he dresses. The way that he dresses, the way that he carries himself, the dialect that he speaks, his hair, the way that it is pressed straight to the point to where it's bones, it, it was, it, his hair so bone straight, baby. It probably can just blow and free and all that shit. It's too stiff, you guys. But I make sure I make him uh, feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I really do. And yeah. I make sure he, I make sure he feels my vibe because. You're not gonna look down on this like we don't even supposed to. He don't even speak. Yeah, he don't speak. I I don't want him to speak to me. I really don't, cause I don't speak to him, you know, and all that kind of stuff like that. But cause it's sometimes you have to, some sometimes it's just best not to say, say nothing. nothing. Yep. Cause if I do say something to him, you know, or something like that, and it's not the reaction, you know, that I'm looking for. You know, sometimes we looking for reaction, you know, looking for, you know, and that you know, I, I can't, you know deal with that because if he give me the wrong reaction i'm gonna want to fight him i'm sorry it's just to the rest of the people because yeah, they're nice they're all nice they're black. nice but he has a problem but with black, black people, people black women black, black men yeah. black children he and he, it's he comes every not, day yeah he every does time. not like but like as soon as a white person come oh hey how you doing he's gonna be a white person in front of us a few people that are maybe white have a nice day us. have a nice day how are you doing I oh said, yes though, ma'am i said no i'm gonna talk to his manager though once I see her again, because we usually go to this store every single day. Every day. Like, <laughs> we literally. Stop. We need to put stock literally, in there. We need to literally. Stop. But <laughs> we go to the store every single day, and that's it. When I see her, because usually, you know, they're they really nice, and I know the girl and all that. And she's a lesbian, you know, and all that. So mm -hmm. I said, you know. And the man, the other manager, she actually has mixed children. Yeah, so, and you she's know, very, just very like nice. them. Like, you, you know, you don't got no problem with them. They got all different kinds of, you know, mixed kids and they you know orientation you know and all that kind of stuff so it's just like oh like and maybe he doesn't show it to her because again that's his boss so naturally yeah. you're gonna keep shit around they see it though i mean they see him they yeah. see him standing up there you know not interacting with the customers he stuff. really does if he don't need to you know i'm just saying like I'll just tell her like this like he don't want to do it like maybe he need to you know because my thing else, is this we come in this store and we pay Good money, money all the time. All the time. All the time. I don't care if it's a grocery store, convenience store, it don't matter. We spend no no less than ten dollars in there every single time we go <laughs> we in. We spend some money in So it's just week. like damn I'm like <laughs> boy, boy. You know us. That's how I go to work to get paid, you know, you got customers coming up in here to make your check. So come on now. Like, you're not better than, you know, like, like I said, we are not better than each other. Mm -mm. Shit, we all equal. Like, what makes you so bad because you got a little bit more money? <laughs> live in a big house because your parents are white because y'all live in a mansion? 
Because you got your own business. And my thing is like, this. White people was already born privileged into this country. Because one, it was... I don't know, we all know. America was founded on the backs of slaves. The White House was built by slaves. So if you didn't know that, now you know. So it's not anything new. It's just a lot of stuff they try to keep under wraps. Because again, like I always say, and I have been saying a lot more recently in my videos. Black people need to read a book. We need to do a little bit more research. We need to stop listening to everything that we see and hear on the TVs and the radios. A lot of that stuff is already programmed. Listen to the same things over and over and over. Is I feel, and this is just my opinion, that a lot of African Americans carry themselves the way that they do and act the way that they do. And yes, I understand music is a form of entertainment, but after a while, when you keep hearing, oh, she my bitch this, she my whole that, Da, 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 and nothing that's uplifting the black woman it's degrading after a certain point and after a while your subconscious mind has been programmed to believe that the black woman is nothing less than a hoe or a stripper at a club nothing to take away from a stripper because i've met people who do what they have to do for it at that time being so no shade no tea on that but think about it literally realize that a lot of these musicians artists actors politicians who are black and in certain positions or have a certain platform or whatever their voice is being controlled to a certain extent because they are afraid they know that they can be harmed they know that their money can be touched it can be taken away from them but my thing is this you knew this when you decided to do all these things you knew that pretty much if you are assigned with a company that is pretty much like white owned you know and you're under contracts and you pretty much are having to do certain things and stuff like that your life is being controlled by a whole nother system it's just another system and they place. want people to release stuff like that yeah like they really do it, to let black people know this is what you are yeah and that's what we want you to stay this way <coughs> we want you to stay this way you know as if people don't be getting it like you have to sit down and you, you really if you don't read a book i don't understand what you're saying and some people just don't like reading. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Some people can get it, you know. Get an audible book. Auto and all that kind of stuff. Like Podcast. That. But once you just start focusing and you start looking at stuff and you start hearing stuff differently and you just break it down in your brain. Because your brain can't do that. Mm -hmm. Like, you break it. It's just your mental Rolodex, man. Like, you can break that shit down. Like, when I start, because I don't like, I, I can tell you now, I read stuff all on my phone and stuff like that. But, like, opening up a book, you know, it's kind of hard, you know, because... I just don't do it because it's just, you know, you have phones now and all that kind of stuff like that. So, but I understand what you're saying, but I sit and, you know, so, and I look at stuff and be like, no. Just like, um, we had an Ember Alert yesterday. No, this weekend. Yeah, with that for, baby boy. Uh, baby boy and two years old. Two years old. And they was talking about, the girl said the um that she was picked up, her and her son was picked up. And her, uh traveling with some man you know I ain't say, i'm not gonna say his name but they was traveling with some man and just said the, the man punched her in the face and him and the boy drove off i had to sit there and think i said no that's not and why would you and have I to kid, child yeah and i kid you not i kid you not an hour like later, same day, yeah, yeah an hour later they came back and said the mama was charged with murder i said yeah she killed that boy so then you know that's what your mind your mind just breaking stuff down you know what i'm saying yeah like it's just like and it's crazy because you know mind is a terrible thing to waste it really is like so, we will not educate yourself we will not sit down to take the time to talk to our kids about the hard stuff we want to pacify them and like again we don't have children but we have nieces and nephews and, and cousins and they come to us they talk to us about things and they ask questions about what is happening right now in America her niece smart intelligent baby girl had a full conversation with me just explaining about her own generation that she sees coming up you know and not saying that you know she might dance and do all these other kind of things and stuff but for a child to be aware of what is happening that speaks volumes and that should speak not just volumes but it should make you want to do better it just should make you want to just look at things from a different perspective, you know, and a lot of people, yes, it is easy to play the race card, you know, but a lot of times it's what's factoring right now, you know, and it has been for many years, and I hate to say it, but the last, probably the last five years, it has really gotten bad, and you know, yes, naturally started with Trayvon Martin, but even before him, it was other kids still being killed by the hands of officers. Still to this day, it is happening, and 
you know it's a lot of discrimination going on like for me like let me just be real like my previous job I really do feel that was their issue with me it wasn't that I couldn't do my job it wasn't that I couldn't do the work it wasn't that I couldn't do anything underneath the moon and the stars and the sun it was because I wasn't bucking and driving with the politics that they had going within the company and because yes again I am black but I was one of those blacks in the company that was in a certain position typically a lot of black people are categorized as only getting entry-level jobs, again, like we discussed earlier in this video, you know, or being a CNA or a janitor. They always want to categorize us with, like, the low jobs, the the jobs. I'm not going to say that they don't mean anything because they do. If we didn't have these people, we wouldn't have clean bathrooms, wouldn't have laundry, and all these other kind of things. And, I mean, I've even done housekeeping and janitorial jobs. So I understand it is a need, and it's not a bad job to have. But, again, too, when you start trying to move up and forward in you know in america and trying to do certain things and you know and get to those higher positions they expect for you to conform they expect for you to just buck and jive with what they're doing at the end of the day that's another system that's you trying to control me that's you trying to tell me what i should and shouldn't say that's like you telling me that i can't voice my opinion about something that is wrong that's not going to only affect other people but me as well like, and, it's, and it gets to a point where, yes, you're either going to buck and drive with the dollar or you're going to stand up for what's right. And that's just what it was. And it's sad, but it happens to a lot of people and it's happening now to this day. That is why you see a lot of people are going into entrepreneurship. They're finally stepping out on that creative side, that crap that they've been working on for all these years and times and days. Because let's just be real. They're trying to shut us out of a lot of stuff. But if we don't stand up to fight to make sure that we can keep these rights to be able to enter different industries and different positions and other, you know, um, avenues, they're going to continue to keep doing what they've been doing. They're going to continue building jails. They're building a new jail now where we live. We don't need no more fucking jails. They <laughs> don't. I do, but the jail house that we do have, that motherfucker is it's old. old. It's old. It used it's to be like, a hospital. I'm sorry, you know. <laughs> it's really old, you guys, and they need to really do away with it for real. I know you have to I know about the jails and stuff like that. Like, you don't need to, you know, I wish it wasn't no jails. You know, it's just like them. Like, you know, I, they talking about rehabilitate you. No, they don't. Jail's not rehabilitate. Yeah, it's what? not, but it's just like, <laughs> it's just like, though, but that, that jail, though, it really needs to be knocked down. Like, we already had one jail blow up. Now, the new one blow up, then, motherfucking, they knocked that castle down. <laughs> That's them. They had about to fucking lock up, I guess, so shit, you know. But I really do think, you know, they need to do that. I, I, I agree with that new jail thing, though, because the one that, like I said, I don't agree with jail. I don't like jail and all that kind of. Never been to jail. But...